our foot peg extender is worth the money judging from the extended reach here and the simplicity of installing these I'm gonna say yes that they are pick these up for 50 bucks you ain't gonna be hurt Okay, so this is going to be a real short video. Uh, basically what I had done is I got my hands on a set of new old stock Polaris. Well, these are for a Predator, but it said it also worked for the 525, and these are just foot peg extenders. And basically, it's exactly what it says. It's a foot peg extender. I, I'm really hoping it fits between these uh, Nerf bars because uh, I actually am going to keep the Nerf bars, but they're really easy to install. They've just got two bolts here. And uh, these are actually kind of hard to find for the factory. They, they're, new, they're new old stock. They don't produce them anymore. Got them for like 50 bucks on eBay. The guy had two sets. If uh, the auction's still up, I'll put the link below, but I highly doubt it. And there's some aftermarket sellers of these. But um, as you can see, the, the, the spikes for your basically your, your boots or your shoes, whatever you're riding with, is extended out. And I've never run these before, but, you know, for 40, 50 bucks, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. It'll be real quick at the call. Just a couple of bolts and then uh, we'll get them on there see what it looks like. Basically what we have is we have our foot peg here and this is just going to be a extender over it. I'm going to make sure that the holes line up. And they do and then it looks like it's just going to bring it out just a little bit. So you're you're talking just a little bit more but look at the cuts on the on the piece you start getting into deep deep mud you need them cuts but we'll just install a few bolts here I've already removed the two uh, bolts that were holding the nerf bars on so I don't really know if I need to read these Pretty self-explanatory here. I'm just gonna wing it. Okay, it actually appears that we have spacers. We have a spacer, a bolt, and a few nuts. And our spacer is gonna go into the middle of the foot peg, like so. And then our bolt's gonna run through. So we'll just kind of mop this up with the spacer. I don't know if you can see that. We'll start by putting this bolt in first put our spacer in between our original OEM foot peg that doesn't fit very well and just push the bolt through like so and then we'll put our nut on here so let's go ahead and get the other one in we'll put our bolt in maybe on there with the washer and we'll come back and tighten this up super easy oh my god look how much farther it sits out so you can if you loot to get your foot off of the peg I'm 
just going to use a crescent wrench and uh, 10 millimeter here. Then tighten it down. Maybe not. Now, like I said, I have never personally ran these, but, you know, just the rake of this for your boot on there, I mean, that's a big difference. So, I would, I would if, if you could pick these up for 40, 50 bucks, I would buy these. And it's still, they raise it up just enough that the end of this will be flat with your new surface area. So, a real simple install. Okay, so overall, uh, just by looking at these, 40, you got 40, 50 bucks to spend, want to add a little more surface contact area for your boot, uh, I, I would buy these. These are available from a lot of different manufacturers. Um, so yeah, that's pretty easy install. So just stay tuned for more videos here on the Outlaw. Uh, I'm starting to run out of time for this stuff because I can only work on this stuff during the weekends and not during the week. So yeah, real simple install. Hope you liked it. Check out the other vids, Outlaw Build in the playlist below. Check the links below, Amsoil uh, Independent Dealer 554-1460. I'm out of here.